Our brains are conditioned from childhood to solve problems. The child goes to the school, he's got mathematical problems, how to read, write. Right? Right? I'm not saying anything strange, so don't look so surprised or bored. From childhood, through school, through college, through university, if you are lucky or unlucky to go through all that, your, bra- your brain, the physical brain, the cells are trained, educated to solve problems. Right? So you treat the whole of living as a problem to be solved. And you approach everything as a problem. Sexual problems, problems of relationship, economic problems, religious problems, political problems, you follow? And we are solving them with a brain that's conditioned to solve problems. So then, so the problems are never solved. Have you realized that? These are facts. You may solve one problem happily, but in the very solution of that problem, you have another problem. Look what is happening politically in the world, in the Western world, in the communist world. They've got so many problems. Economic problems, the political problem, the desire to be president, to be to be the top man. You know, they're all problems. You have problems with your wife and with your husband. You have problems with your children. You have problems with your guru. And we are not making a problem for you. The speaker is not creating a problem for you. All that he's saying is, look at things as they are. First, without any prejudice, without any conclusion. And if you have conclusions, opinions, judgment, put them aside. This is only a, a brain that is free, can look. So can you put aside all those opinions, judgments, evaluation, tradition, and look at things as they are? Not as a politician, not as a follower, not a person who has read a great deal and can speak endlessly, but as a human being. But our brains are conditioned to solve problems. So the brain itself has a problem. You understand this? Do understand this, please. And therefore, whatever it meets, turns it into a problem. So our question is whether it's possible not to have a brain that is conditioned to the solution of problems. To have a brain that's free to look and not make a problem of what it looks. Right? So, we are asking whether the brain cells themselves, without any compulsion, without any instigation, without any pressure, outwardly or inwardly, 
can bring about a change, in a mutation in itself. Otherwise, we are going to live as we are, to, be dist- to destroy each other, to be endlessly struggling, never having a moment of peace. So we're going to find out these four discussion talk conversations, really a dialogue. One can't have a dialogue with so many people, but one can have a dialogue with you, not with all of you, with each one of you, separate. And we will see. Religion is the most important thing in life. Not the thing that the crows are going to bed. The last trumpet. <laughs> all right, all right. We are asking a new culture, a new civilization cannot come about through economic adjustments, through political action, through various forms of institutions and foundations.